Hey guys, so this morning I'm here to pick up this load. It's a full load, but hopefully I'm gonna find some more stuff to put in the bag there, because it's not too heavy, so like 12,000 pounds, so plenty of space and plenty of weight what I can put in the bag since I have three axles right there. So check this out how I tied it down and hopefully I'm gonna make a second part of this video to show you what I, what we found to put in the bag there, maybe a full load or maybe some partials. Sometimes you can find three different partials so it's gonna be much more better, much more money for me. So thank you for watching, check this video. So how you can see here I have two straps. It's a light box, not too heavy. So I think it's like 2000 pounds. So I just put two straps, put the plastic corner so it's not gonna cut my straps on the wood there. And then this, they show me where to hook up. So inside here is the hook of the chain. And then I put this right here, right behind this. So the, the hook is not gonna slip because if you put it here, it's gonna slip out. So you either, you, you either have to put it here or you have to put it right here and this is not gonna let you go. So then this side, it's exactly the same thing. So you can see the chains coming out because the hook is right there. And then put it here, so how I said, to not make it slip, you put it here. So this is not gonna let the hook slip out. So it's tied down super good. Here's the same, it's a little bit higher. So inside have a bar, so you just go around it with the chain. So it's gonna hold this. You can see the chain come back in and out. So then I put it here to the ring. That's good. And this side here, it's, so you can see here, see this hook, it's here. Because I didn't put it here, put it right here. It was much more because it's higher. It was better here than here. So check this out, same story. So you can see the hook here. So the chains go inside and come back and the hook go around the chain. So this is it. So uh, you can see here, with the bands so i have the ring here but the, here i don't have it so you can put it right here like this it's the same thing because the other ring is too far away so it's good to have both type of uh, bands with a chain and with a hook so uh so while i was waiting to do my shower at the gas station we found a partial here a small one going the same direction to washington state so uh Hope they find the rest of it, which is a lot of space back there. So be tuned to see the end of this video. It's a generator, so I just put two straps and they uh, require you to put those cardboard corners here. So it's not gonna scratch the paint. Probably it's good too, so it's not gonna cut your, your uh, benders. So I just put here, see how you can see here. Have one ring here and this one go underneath the trailer and hook in the, in the bin there. And then I have here, since the ring here is busy with this chain, I put the chain to the bean underneath the trailer. So it's the same thing. And this one exactly the same like the opposite one. So uh, yeah, hopefully you're gonna find the stuff here. So uh, yeah, keep watching.
show how I tied it down. So you can see here, straight to the axle here, put a chain, so one point right here, which is exactly the same thing the opposite side. Then, since it's on the upper deck here, so you don't want to, even the brakes on, you don't want to follow, to go forward when you're braking. So I put two more X here. So crossing chain, still to the same thing, right to the axle. So the axle go to the opposite side and then from there coming to right here. You can see how is that? And how I said, to not touch them. So the crossing chain, they don't touch. That one is straight to the trailer. Like it's right here, like right here. So it's not gonna slip. And this one, it's all around the ring here. Then I have two more right here. You can see here from the axle, they have the little braces so you can hook up. So one here and one there. This is why I like to use just one chain when it's possible because then you have all this leftover chain and you just have to go around the chain. It's too much mess, so I don't really like. This is why I use most of the time just one chain if it's possible. Then I have the tires here. So I can see here straight from here and from there in going crossing. I'm gonna show you up here. Oh, okay. So I can see here, you're just crossing. And then come back here. And you put it right here. One is to the ring here. This one to this ring. Obviously you put the flags. And how you can see here, the same thing. So how I said, on the trailer right there, so it's not gonna slip forward. Then you have one more here to the axle. And here the flag, because this is the widest point. So this way I'm 10 feet wide. So I'm kind of like 10 inches this side and eight inches the other side, so not exactly perfect. But the point is you're 10, 10 feet wide. And that's it. So. Finally, how I said at the beginning of this video, probably gonna be able to just to make two extra loads. So this is, so those two, they are together. This one separate and this one separate. They all go to Washington state. So that all, that mean all together. So that's it. I just measure it to see how wide I am. So I'm 10, 10 feet wide all together. So the widest point is right there, the back wheels of the tractor and that's it. Guys, okay guys, so how I said all the time at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how much money it's in for me. So now I just pass the scale to see if I'm overweight. So uh, lucky me I'm not, so I'm just oversized. So that means the permits will be much more cheaper because when you heavy, you pay a lot of money for the permit. So don't forget that. So that's why I just go to the scale and I check my scale now. So all this going all to Washington state, all of them, for me, it's going to be almost $5,000. So thank you for watching.